I am not a lawyer or a constitutional scholar, and I understand that over the long arc of history, the Constitution has been amended, has had sections repealed, and its application has evolved to reflect the changing American experience in the 225 years since its ratification. But if there is one thing that seems abundantly clear in our founding document, it is the 27 words that comprise the Second Amendment. Those 27 words are rooted in the concept of the individual, in the notion that every man's home is his castle, and that the most basic right is the right to defend oneself. The tragedy of Newtown, Connecticut horrified all of us, just as Columbine, Virginia Tech, and Aurora did before it. Every one of us wishes for an easy solution when we see such indiscriminate violence. But the fact is, there is no easy answer. Sadly, as is too often the case in government, the absence of discourse and debate led to a result that did not solve the problem. Instead of using this unique moment in time to examine, apply, and enhance proven public protection strategies like illegal gun interdiction, targeted anti-violence enforcement programs, and broader implementation of school resource officers, the conversation devolved into an encroachment on law-abiding citizens and our constitutionally guaranteed rights. Like the 1994 Federal Assault Weapons Ban and the New York State Combined Ballistic Identification System before it, the New York SAFE Act fails to acknowledge fundamental characteristics of gun violence in the United States, that rifles are responsible for less than 5% of all gun-related crimes, and the overwhelming majority of all gun crimes are committed by individuals with criminal histories. Since its hurried enactment, many of us have been working to sever and repeal this law through any means available. I am a co-sponsor of three pieces of legislation that will effectively repeal the New York SAFE Act. I have also seen firsthand the passion and intensity with which tens of thousands of you have defended your rights, and it is making a difference. You may not see it, but I do every day. Minds are changing, and many are coming to the realization that a mistake was made in haste, and change is sorely needed. I look forward to seeing you at forums and rallies across Western New York over the remainder of the summer and into the fall, and working together, we can still make a difference to repeal this intrusive law and put forward real policies to keep our children and our community safe.